it um, initially, um, or let me see, at the beginning when I got into the catfish, uh, I started with um, uh, only 1,005 fingerlings. And uh, one thing is I was just making a try. And after um, harvest, I got to know that um, I spent, that time I spent um, only 8,000 on the 1,500 fingerlings. But the profit was 7,000. So I got to know, no, then I think I have to invest more into the catfish. Meet 35-year-old Lawrence from Tafo Estates in Old Tafo Municipality, who took what many will consider a difficult decision to quit engineering into fish farming. At the beginning, I, I, I thought it was one of the uh, like interest. Uh, it was one of my interest subjects, and uh, before I was doing the, um, electronics and uh, before I got into the telecom engineering. Uh, but uh, I. When I came into fisheries, uh, before I realized I shouldn't have wasted my time if I should have, if I had started early into the fisheries, I have gone far than as I am now today. If you really want to be a farmer, when um, I was uh, at my at that age, your parents wouldn't advise you to be into um, the farming because they thought farming wasn't a good job. But uh, I, I can tell you, farming is one of the best jobs. Lawrence, who graduated from the Ghana Telecommunication University, knew little about fish farming at the time he decided to venture into it. Lawrence is making a mark as an upcoming fish farmer. If I stock, any time I stock 2,000, I normally spend um, about um, sometimes 15,000 Ghana cities on them. And after harvest, uh, I used to get uh, 30,000 or 35,000 Ghana cities every harvest. I normally harvest every six months. Yeah. So every six months you harvest and you get about the profit of how much? A profit of 20,000 uh, cities so every six months. Yeah, so within a year, meaning I, I will be getting 40,000, but I will use um, that 20,000 as an expense for paying my workers and uh, other expenses. Yeah. For Lawrence, fish farming was the best for him at the time he breathed the idea of venturing into agriculture. The trained engineer has no regret changing course because he is reaping the fruits. Challenges abound in such an enterprise, but Lawrence has conditioned himself to meet them as they come. Yeah, at my initial stage, um, the challenges I faced was uh, when I, after constructing the ponds, bought the fingerlings, um, bought the fish feed. Yeah. The fingerlings I bought were about 7,000 fingerlings and I needed more than what uh, the money left to feed the fish. So at that stage, um, uh, if you don't have, like if you don't feed them properly, the, the, the growth normally don't go on well properly. So I had to um, find strategic way of feeding them by using the lo locally uh, fish. And although uh, I couldn't make through that, uh, it was okay. After the challenges, um, I made the challenges. The challenges were there. I couldn't get much after harvest. Uh -huh, because the more you feed them, the more your profit. So I lost a lot. And, and um, the type of fingerlings who I stocked that time, they were hybrid. Uh, so the bigger ones were feeding on the smaller ones. Uh, I didn't know about um, uh, sorting. And uh, after harvest, um, the number of fishes I was having was very less. And this was really a, a, a loss. What happened to them? Did they die? And how much did they lose from that? They didn't die, but the bigger ones were feeding on the smaller ones simply because I did not sort them. Because um, when you stock fish, it gets to a time like two months, three months. Every Like every two months, you need to sort them. You, you sort them, you bring the smaller ones from the bigger ones, you group them into sizes. So that each, uh, when, they, when they are of the same size, they cannot feed on the other. So how much did you lose from that? Okay, after I quite remember, I spent 30,000 um, constructing the f uh, fish pond at the early stage. And uh, after harvest, the money I had was about, um, I got only 10,000 Ghana cities, which wasn't enough, but I never lose hope. I, I tried to push on. And but before I, I started with, um, tilapia and um, uh, at times um, when they were about five months when I come I could see about 200 fishes floating and so I realized it was from the water and uh, 
like uh, tilapia, normally they always need clean water. They are not like catfish. So after those challenges, I had to. I make research and I got to know about uh, catfish. And um, but with catfish, they don't die like tilapia when they come. In health or in sickness, he is resolute in growing. He says, to the glory of God.